So this week, two tips, free tips actually, for your lessons that will transform them. And that is the use of smiles and the use of humour in lessons. And we know that if you make learning fun and joyful, especially when people are at the edge of their current abilities, when it's getting the most challenging and the most knotty, make the learning fun and joyful and you'll find it makes a huge difference. And smiling is free and it's contagious and so is humour. And by this humour, I mean humour that is relaxed humour, that it can help to take the pressure off when you're at, at cutting edge, let's say. And it can help us with making mistakes and understanding that making mistakes is all part of the learning process. In fact, if we don't make mistakes and reflect on those and accept them, then learning becomes more and more difficult. And um, not knowing where to go next, you know, humour can help us guide our students in one way or another. So we've been challenging ourselves this week in the curious community with this idea of using humour, maybe telling the odd joke. Do you know any odd jokes? I'll save mine to the end. Um, I hardly know any and I always have to write them down. So I have got one written down for you. But humour and a giggle really does help a lesson go with much, much more um, energy and zing to it. And as I keep saying, it, it's completely free. So let's do it. Let's smile an awful lot more than we do. Um, it Because the reason is it helps to establish a sense of trust and it helps to build that all important relationship that you have with your students. I'm sure we've all been in that place, especially with, let's say, transfer students. And they come to us for the first few lessons and that trust isn't there and that relationship is just completely at its very start. And most of the time it takes us a few months probably to get that level of trust going and to get that relationship building. So both parties know what, it, what you're on about. Just occasionally though, just occasionally, um, it doesn't ever emerge. And then that makes a really uncomfortable place, doesn't it? For both yourself and your student. Um, because that trust, without the trust, it's almost in, impossible for learning to happen. Just almost impossible. And you feel as a teacher, you're, you're hitting a brick wall. Humour and smiles may be one way that that could help to build that trust and to develop that relationship between you. So, little ideas. Um, obviously last week I had my um, my ducks and thank you to those of you that love the ducks and went out to uh, get some. With children, it's easy, isn't it? We can use the ducks. Actually, I have to tell you, adults quite like ducks as well. Um, especially if you're doing something like introducing them to new practice techniques, really helps to make the point. Um, this is something I've had out this week. I do my teaching online, except for one one student, and he walked in and he saw that and immediately went, <coughs> I said, oh, what should we use that for then this week? And of course he loves doing that. And because um, I'm, te I'm teaching him a bit of the violin and like a mini violinist, you know, that, that, that wrist was coming in. So I just used this. I didn't say anything. I just went, okay, so when the wrist comes in, <coughs> that's what's gonna happen. And we were both giggling away at that and by the end, I wasn't using it very much at all. And the other thing that we are using over in the community this week uh, was part of this week's teaching challenge was the smilometer. Get your students involved in you know, telling you how smiley you've been this week. Because I think sometimes I smile. I think I'm quite a jolly person, really. And I think I'm smiling. And actually, when I watch myself back on video, I think, oh, no, I was obviously concentrating very hard on what I was saying. And getting a bit serious and I'm just forgetting to smile so get your students involved you know just get some smiley faces there isn't a sad one they just go from quite smiley to off the chart smiley do something like that so as I say smiles and humor go a long way in helping learning to happen because it creates that relaxed situation where all of a sudden we get more creative and we don't mind making those mistakes in such, quite the same way. Do you want my joke? I'm just going to check that I know it. <laughs> yeah, here it is. What do you call a cow who plays the piano? 
Have you got it? What do you call a cow who plays the piano? A musician, of course. Thank you all so much for watching. Go forward, smile, be contagious. Take your smiles into your world and share your joy for music and the piano everywhere you go. Happy teaching. Bye for now.